Hey guys, so for this project we are going to work on three-dimensional shapes. So the first thing you need to do is draw a large triangle, square, and circle and make sure that they are all overlapping. We're going to turn our triangle into a pyramid by drawing an extra line down from that middle point past the bottom line and then two lines from the back lines to now that middle point at the bottom. This will make it look like it has two sides. Now we're going to move on to the cube, which is our square in the back. We're going to start with two lines out from the top points to go back, and then another line that connects them to at the furthest point in the back. Next, we're going to draw a line down and then a line from the bottom corner and connect it to that back line that we just drew. Now, remember, because we are overlapping things, we are going to want to make sure that we're drawing light and then we erase once we get to those sections that are overlapped with the other shapes. So now that I have all three of my three-dimensional shapes drawn, I'm now just going to go over it, darken up the lines so I know exactly the different planes that I have to work with. Now, you may notice that we did not have to do anything right now for our circle that we're going to turn into a sphere. That will all come into play when we start doing our shading, and I will show you that in a moment. So, all you're going to need for this to shade is your pencil and a black crayon if you have it. So we are going to imagine if there is a light source coming from the top right hand side of our paper. So we're only going to be darkening the one side of each of our shapes. So just like I'm doing, I'm darkening the left side of my triangle or my pyramid now. And then I'm going to move on to that front face of this cube and darken it with my pencil just like I did with the pyramid. You don't have to get super dark right now because that's what we're going to use the black crayon for if you have it. If you don't have the black crayon, then totally go back in with the pencil and make it a little bit darker so it's easier to see the difference. I'm just darkening up some areas where there's overlapping so it would create more of a shadow. And then the one tip I have for your spheres is please make sure when you are shading that you are going in the direction of the sphere. So what I mean by that is do not do your shading up and down or side to side. It has that curve to it. So when you're doing it, Make sure your pencil has that motion and you are shading at a curved motion. Now notice, it is getting a little bit darker where those shapes start overlapping. So further and closer to the cube is where it's going to be darker. So I'm just putting more pressure on my pencil to create that darker shading. Same thing with this. Now I'm going to just draw a little bit of a shading to make it look like there's a shadow on the table from where the shapes are sitting and it's casting a shadow. So I'm just getting a little bit darker towards the bottom of my shapes. Now I'm going to go in with my black crayon. Again, if you have one, great. If not, just put a little bit more pressure on your pencil to create the darker parts of the shading. Just going in, covering up some areas, remembering that what part do you think would be darkest if there was a light source coming from the top right hand corner above the shapes. So now I have all my shapes done, the shading is done. I hope you enjoyed this, can't wait to see them.